Hello, Evan. Good afternoon. <clears throat> Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Okay, wait for a moment. Okay, so once again, good evening, and this is the continuation of our class. Um, and today, you will be having a new book or the continuation of your book. So, are you ready? Oh. Uh-huh. Okay. So, let me share my screen now to you. So, here is the continuation of your book, which is the Interactive Science Book 2. So, on this one... So on this one, we will be having the first unit, which is unit one about growing and changing. Mm. Okay, so how are animals same and different? All animals will grow and change. Some animals are hatch for a week. Other animals grow from an egg inside their mother. And they are born from their mother. Okay, very good. So on this one, all animals grow and change. But some animals hatch from an egg. And others animals grow from an egg inside their mother. And they are born from their mothers. So on this one, we are talking about some animals that hatch from an egg. So what are those animals that hatch? Frog. Okay, a frog? Yeah. Okay, frog. What else? Ostrich. Ostrich. Okay, last one. And uh, um, ostrich and... Mm -hmm. The chicken. Okay, chicken. Very good. Now, you will be moving on now with the next one in this. So here, let's try to talk about how do baby animals live and grow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, how do baby animals live and grow? Uh, so, uh, how, uh, so my baby animals care for themselves at a young age. Also need help for many years. Adults feed them and keep them safe while they grow up. Okay, so mostly or some baby animals care for themselves at the young age. But other, mostly... Other animals um needs help from adult or from their mother because their mother or their mother or their parents needs to feed them to be safe or to keep safe and to grow up. So now do you have any more questions? I think none. So let's try to move on now with the next one. Again, you have the word hatch or to come out from an egg, egg, adult, and feed. So let's try to move on now with this one. Check your understanding where you will be having four questions. So let's start with one. Animals will grow in the change. What is the story about? Okay, animals grow and change. How about number two? Which animal lays egg? Bee. Bee. Okay. Now, how about number three? Which is true about animals? Uh, um... And some baby animals care. For themselves at a young age. Okay, very good. And this is not a really, really bad one. Baby animals feed adults while they grow old. <laughs> is that a really bad one? Yeah. Why, why do you think? They can't be. 
Oh, so baby animals can feed their parents or adults. Mm. But what if, how can they find food at the very young age, especially in the wild? I don't know, 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 I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay, don't worry. If you don't know, you don't know. But mostly, um, the one that find food, especially in the wild, are the adults one. Because in the wild, it's very dangerous because there are a lot of animals that are hunting at night and also in the morning or at day or during the day. Okay, now let's try the hack number four. Which animal is correctly matched with its baby? Oh, dog, cat, cat, chicken, chicken, cow. B. I give you very good. So here you have the cat and kitten. So what do you mean by um so chicken and cow? Do you know what is cow? Okay, so cow. Um Evan is a cow, while calf are those carnivores are those baby carnivorous mammals like bear, lion, and also some fox. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, we will be moving on now with the next one, which is this one, the vocabulary, where you need to match the word with their meanings. Which one is adult? Hatch, egg, and feed. Oh, to, to, uh, a person or animal that is fully grown mm -hmm. hatch to come out for an egg. Egg or rounded object laid by female birds, fish, and insect feed to give food to animal. Very good. Thank you for answering this one. So now, we will be moving on now with the next one or the last one for this topic, which is the critical thinking. So again, all you need to do is to circle the animals that are born from their mothers. Underline the animals that hatch from eggs. Okay, remember, you need to circle the okay, animals. Okay, 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 okay. And... Oh. oh, okay, so are you done? Mm -hmm. Are you done? Mm. Yes, so here let's try to check your answer. So we need to circle the animals that are born from their mothers. So those animals are giraffe, a dolphin, um, lion, cat, and dog. Mm. The dog. Okay, so the animals that hatch from an egg or from eggs are turtle and butterfly. So how about this one? The dog. Does this animal grow or born from their mothers? Yes? Okay, so dog is like a chicken. So many... Oh, are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Look at this I'm... one. Yes, please. No, you never a chocolate like this. No, you never a chocolate like. Did you see the picture? What? Wait, I will see it. 
Hum. Tá bom. Oh. Oh. Wait, this is to be wrong. Okay. Oh, that is a dog. Okay. That is a dog. Wait, did, 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 don't erase it. Okay, okay. Okay, you can erase it. I can erase it now. So the dog should be on. Okay, the dog should have an underline because as what I said earlier, dog is like a chicken who lays an egg. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, let's try to move on with the next one or the next topic, which is unit two about big what? Changers. So here, let's try to talk about do all babies look like their parents? Do all babies look like their parents? No. Okay. No. Why? They change some 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 animals change their face. Okay. So so some animals changes its appearance. Um when the as they grow up. Okay, so some babies, okay, some babies look like a little copies of their parents. Others yeah. change how they look as they grow up. And some babies grow up inside a pouch and some grow up inside a nest. So what is an animal that grow up inside a pouch? Kangaroo. A kangaroo, very good. And on, on the other hand, so those animals that grow up in a nest are to be specific are the birds. So now let's try to move on with this one. So as you can see here, there is a question for you. So Evan, what animals what animals look like their parents when they born? Dog. Okay, a dog. Cat. Mm -hmm. A cat? And dolphin. A dolphin, yes. Okay, that's and great. And people. Oh, but we are only talking about animals. But yeah, some of the baby or human. Who oh, is an animal? People is considered an animal? People is animals. Okay, yeah, because there are some theories, or yeah, there are some theories that they believe that people came from an animal, especially monkeys. Okay, so now let's try to move on with this one. So, how butterfly grows? So, butterfly grows from an egg, and this egg will go to be a caterpillar. And next one, the caterpillar will go to be a series. Charlie's and an adult butterfly. Or this one is also called a larva. Now, you will be moving on now with the next. But before that, do you have any more questions about no, no, this? No, 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 no. I guess if you don't have any more questions, let's try to move on now with the next. Here is... um. Another one, which we will go into talk about, what animals go through big changes? Some insects and all men that go through bigger changes during their life cycles. A baby insect is called a larva. Its body changes shape. Okay, very good. Thank you. So some insect. What is this mean? Which one? Mm. So, amphibians are this mm. one. Amphibian is an animal that can live on land and in water, like frog. Frog is an amphibian because they can live on the water and they can also live on the land. Mm. Then turtles and crocodile. Yes, you're right. That's great. It's a good one. It's also correct. 
So, some insect can be amphibian that then can... Then, we are amphibian too. <laughs> um, but I don't think so. Because those amphibians... We can live in water too. Can you breathe under the water? No, we can make... Because if you are an amphibian... We can make... Or some boats. Oh, so meaning, um, so no, what you mean, one. yeah, what this you mean one. is that, what you mean is that, um, you are going to live on water using a boat? No, in. In? Yeah, we can make this. Okay, let's see. A submarine, mm. but I think submarine is very expensive. Can all yeah, the... but we can live. Yes, you can live using a submarine because submarine has a special features that can help human beings to breathe underwater. How about you? Why do you think that? Do you want to live underwater? No. <laughs> Okay, so once again, amphibian go through a lot of changes during their life cycle because like a butterfly, okay, that came from an egg and that and become um, a caterpillar and chrysa what is this? Chrysalis an adult. So now, if we don't have any more questions here, we will be moving on now with the next thing. So check your understanding so let's try the half or let's try the answer number one yeah and what is our story about the uh, uh, animals go through speaking during the life cycle okay number two what animal grows its baby inside a pouch b b okay a kangaroo number three which is true about is animals. true about animals born to grow up in a nest. Okay, thank you. And number four? Uh, what do we call baby insect? Um, a larval. Yes, they are the larval. Very good. Now... Let's try to move on with this vocabulary where you need to find five words. What's wrong? Wait, I will do it. Okay, take your time. Don't do it. No, I don't. Ah! No, not this. Okay, all done. Very good. So, you have five words from now on. Okay, and you all got it. You found it all. So, how about the word act? Act. Mm -hmm. Can you find the word act? What is act? I'll act here. It is too easy. Here. Okay, good. No more now. Yeah, it's all gone. Out. How about the word out? Out? Oh, yeah. it is too easy. <laughs> okay, there's no more now. How about the word ouch? Ouch? Expression. The expression. Okay, ouch. Okay. It's okay, hurt. I will do it. Where is O? Oh, where is O? Oh. An expression oh. where where you say the word where ouch, especially when you are. Is, 
this yes that's the one <laughs> all done here so now we will be moving on now with the next one which is critical thinking so I will draw it I will draw it okay And this stuff to be this color to be green. What like this and like this. And and here oh no we can do like this and pupa it is like it is like So and and the insect um they got to tampiji balago kurechono we do 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 we do 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 And uh, here is, here is, here is, here is, here is. Okay, so uh, no, I did yet draw. The leg. Okay. One, one, two, and here is three. One, two, three. I'm done. Okay, so what kind of insect is that? Butterfly. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, you're all done and your answers are all correct. Huh? What is this? Um, a life cycle of a butterfly. Ah, oh, there is sweet. And uh, I bye bye. Okay, not yet. No, bye bye. Bye bye. But we start at um two fifty, so we will go in the end at four. Oh, three thirty. Four thirty. I mean, four thirty. So now we will be having unit three. No, it is three thirty. Oh, it's, it's just 3.15. We start when it is 2.15. 2.50. It's just, we start at 2.50. Yeah, so we, we end at 3.30. Yes, we will go into You said 4.30. No, just 3.30. No, you said 4.30. Oh, sorry about that. I mean, um, I just confused about it because you are advanced. You are advanced for one hour here in my country. That's why. So now let's try to have unit three where you will be having a hatching time. Okay. So what animals hatch from an egg? 
I said ostrich and bird and frog. Okay, so thank you. Now, many kinds of animals. And insects. <laughs> so many kinds of animals hatch from an egg, like what you said, birds, insects, amphibians, and reptiles do too. So some eggs are soft and squishy, and others have a hard shell. So what, what animals that have a hard shell? What? What animals lays a hard shell type of egg? Mm, ostrich. An ostrich, very good. How about what are the animals that lay a soft and squishy a squishy egg? Frog. Okay, a frog, very good. And also um snakes also lays egg that are soft and squishy ones. Now let's try to move on with this oh, one. What's that one? That is two. Uh, that is dog. I think a dog. Yeah, but it comes from an egg. Yeah, you said the dog is life make. No, I'm not. I didn't say that. Dogs. Yes. Dogs. No dog. Dog. A dog. Yes. Not dog. I thought it's dog. Okay, dog. No, I didn't say dog. Okay, so dog. Yes. Yeah, I see it. Because dog is like a chicken who lays an egg. But I think it is not a dog. Because dog had, have a flat beak. And this one is not. I think it's just a bird. So now, let's have this one. So as you can see, many birds use grass and twigs to make a nest. Okay, next one. Why do some animals make a nest? Why do some animals make a nest? Because they need some home. Yes, they need home. Very good. And also, some animals make a nest for their eggs because they need to protect their egg. And nest is the one that can protect their egg. Because the net keeps eggs warm, some animals guard their nest and they keep hungry animals away. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, only 12 minutes left. This is three of. Yeah, did you did that? I draw it. So what's, what is the meaning of the Korean flag? I don't know. Don't know? What is the meaning of three... Three lines on the upper part of the flag. No, oh, it is four. The upper one. One, two, uh, three. This one? Yeah. I don't know. You don't know. Because every flag has its own meaning. Okay. Mm. So now, like this one. As you can see here, crocodile also have his nest. And the crocodile nest is on the dirt. Okay. Now, you have the word reptile, which is a cold-blooded animal with dry, scaly skin, and the short legs or no legs. Okay? Yeah. So, what are the reptiles that doesn't have any legs? Name a reptile that doesn't have any legs. Hmm, also... Snake. Snake. Very good. Okay. On the other hand, you have the word shell, which is the hard covering around an egg. And guard is to keep something safe from others. Like this crocodile who is guarding its nest. Now, let's try to have this one. Check your understanding. Let's try to have the first one. So, Evan, what is the story about? Um, the story is about um, uh, many kinds of animals hatch from eggs. Okay, good. Now, how about number two? Which is true about eggs? 
Ouch. Oh, what's happened to you? I don't know. Do you know? Is Maybe something hurt? This. Okay. So what is true about eggs? What is about huh? Our eggs? Mm -hmm. What is true about Some eggs have a hard shell. I'll give you very good. Okay, let's have number three. What, what do birds make nests to it? Choose two twigs and grass. Very good. Twigs and grass. Now, Which is not a reptile? A. Okay, so if this one is not a reptile, what type of animal is this? What type of animal is this one? Because these two animals are reptiles. How about this animal? That is insect. Yes, insect. Very good. Now, let's try to have the vocabulary where you need to match the word. Okay, what is reptile? Hmm? Oh. Uh, reptile is uh, a coat of blood is in the movies the right guy. Scaly skin and short legs are no legs. Mm -hmm. Heart is a hard covering or oh no to keep something safe. From others, the show is a hard covering or an egg or seed. Okay, now let's try to talk about reptile. So reptile again is a cold-blooded animal with dry and scaly skin, or they have a scale. So Evan, can you please try to give three reptiles? Huh? What give three reptiles? Uh, chameleon. Okay, chameleon. And the snake. Snake. And the, this one. Okay. Let's see that one. Which one is this? A lizard. Okay, very good. Now, we will be moving on now with the next, which is... The critical thinking. So which animal lays egg with hard shell? This egg looks like some eyes. Yes. Oh. Yes, it is. So which animal lays hard shell and lays egg? I would, egg would, I like would, I would, I would, I would, I would, I would, I would. Oh. Okay, very good. All done with this. Now, let's try to move in now with the next one. Okay, you're so fast. You have unit four now. So you huh? Huh? What is me? Yeah, you are so fast with this book. Okay, let's have unit four. That is all about animal friends. So what are the animals that can be, that can also be your friends? Mm, dog, cat, and the turtle, and the fish. Okay, very good. So those are like a domestic animals. Domestic animals means that those animals that can be a pet. And the squirrel. A squirrel? Oh, really? And the cheetah. A che what is it? Cheetah. Cheetah? What is cheetah? Cheetar, cheetar. Cheetar. Cheetar or a cheetah? Yeah, cheetar. Oh, are you sure? Yeah. Cheetah. Yeah. This this person have a have that pet too. Oh, okay. Yeah, because here, 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 here. Yes, other person or some of us have um 
some wild fish. Ocean bolt? Ocean bolt? Oh, so where is he from? Hmm? Where is he from? I think, uh, I don't know. Okay, you don't know, but she, um, he has a shita? Yeah, mm -hmm. but find in Google. Okay. okay, let's try to find in Google. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, I see. I want to see it too. I want to see it okay, too. Okay, wait for a moment. So he is from Kenya? But now it is like Z. Oh yeah, it's big now. Wait for a moment. I will go to show you. I think this one. He is a runner. So um he compared with he compared himself with the cheetah because I think she can or he can run very fast like a cheetah. Do we have it now? Yeah. Okay. So now, let's try to move on with this. So why do we take care of some animals? What do you think? Why do we take care of some animals? Because we, want, we don't want to be lonely. Okay. So that is one of the reasons. Some some uh, some of us have pets because we don't want to be lonely because pets are also the one who give us happiness. Uh, but on this one, some animals are pets. They live with people. Pets don't hunt for their food because people feed them and give them a home. Okay, but remember, there are some animals that can be a pet. But if you are going to have cheetah as a pet, it is not recommendable because cheetah is for the wild. Okay, because if you if you are going to have cheetah as your pet, it is like you are not giving him a chance to live on the wild. Okay. Yeah. So now let's try to move on with this one. So how do animals help oh, each And rabbit too. We yeah, can... and rabbit. Yes. Good job. Now, how about how do animals and help... And the mice. Mice? Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. But it's kind of weird because... Mice... And this one, this one. Okay, what's that? And this too. A beetle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what is this one? Stag beetle. Mm, yeah, yeah. Those animals are really weird, but there are also some people who, who have... I had. You have... Yeah, yeah. I remember you have a beetle back then. Okay. Also, some people have tarantulas or a type of huh? spider. Yes. I saw it on the internet. They keep... Or oh, keep... we can have bird too. And yes. A uh, leon. Mm -hmm, yeah. But um, having those kind of pet is really a big responsibility because some of them are poisonous, some of them are wild, and some of them is aggressive. So now we are all done for today's class. So we will just going to continue this oh one at God. home <laughs> next lesson. So that will be all and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.